solution. We have planned to get uh, a feedback from our customers, uh, from our partners uh, who already tested. Hi, guys. Product. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you that you joined. Uh, we're happy sure. To Sorry. I'm late. It's okay. Uh, everything is okay. Uh, we're happy to see you all there. And today we will have a really short discussion. Uh, maybe not short, actually. The goal of our discussion today is to... Um, uh, to uh, share the feedback, uh, your opinion about the product, uh, I and uh, uh, and my team uh, we would like to uh, to introduce that we already have launched the new builder version, and it's already available for right, all of some. our. Uh, for all of our customers, uh, and everybody can launch this new builder version and introduce for the end customers. I'm talking about hosting companies. Uh, so probably I'll share the screen a little bit for a while, and we'll show what we already did. And uh, uh, this is a new builder version. Actually, if, uh, as you see, we already have a new category that we call online business uh, that can be useful and uh, beneficial during this unusual period of time when our customers, your customers, will be able to create online businesses, uh, online presentation using this uh, category. We are going to improve and make it bigger. Uh, we are going actually talking about templates to improve our commerce as well. And today, I would like like to hear actually as uh, the main goal is to hear your opinion about the builders that we have already launched uh, uh, i would like to mention that all of our customers can enable a new site builder a new builder version on the license page on the brand uh, cloud customers will be able just to enable and it means that the builder will be launched for all of them and uh, on premises customers can enable uh, also on license page but they will see uh, the new builder version but they will see the instruction how they can activate what they need to do with a new builder version how they can replace the old one with a new one uh, if you face any issues uh, during the update or just questions before the update just contact our support team and they will assist you with all questions related uh, to the new builder version so uh, I would like actually to pass a word to our first guest, uh, Artur. Uh, can you share your first already... and last guest? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually... Well, I mean, I came last. That's what I meant. Um... Maybe you can share the opinion. Your company already mm -hmm. tested the product. You you got the first uh, or, uh, first link, I guess, three weeks ago something like mm -hmm. this and you were you were not satisfied with all with an old builder version you had um, many issues with response to websites with other things so and we now we built it the, uh, we, we launched the new builder version uh, is it more convenient uh, uh, on mm -hmm. your point of from your point of view what do you think what is there just general opinion Mm -hmm. So yeah, let, let me, I guess, uh, share a little bit about my background so everybody knows where I'm coming from. Uh, we're a name silo. It's a domain name registrar. Uh, we host around uh, 3.5 million domain names. And we've been long anticipating for some cool website builder, which can actually import sites and be like a white label solution. And finally, we, we came across SitePro. Uh, so basically, uh, to begin with, we've been fairly excited about the product. Uh, I mean, just based on capabilities and the price structure is fairly nice as well. Uh, but eventually we figured that, I mean, once we get more, we went more in the testing from the user perspective, like going through the, um, just simply building sites, uh, we found that it, it wasn't useful. Uh, there was a lot of uh, problems with the, with just building sites from, um, from the beginning or just using template um, I will say probably even harder when you start using template, it's harder to change something. Uh, so, uh, so some, some things, well, the problems were related to functionality and um, just general experience, user experience in terms of like where hard to find something or some things where um, positions to, to in, 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 a, in a place where you won't expect that or, or just finding like a draft of the site or saving a draft was hard. 
but uh, with la last uh, last version, uh, the new release 4.0, right? Uh, that was uh, there was huge improvement. I mean, still so something to to work with, but we were definitely on the edge of like switching the website builder. Uh, but at this point, we're actually thinking to stay, definitely stay around and um, offer to our clientele. Um, I, I will say fairly, fairly big clientele. Uh, and uh, because, again, we've been hectic to kind of uh, go live with that. But at this point, if uh, I mean, you guys, Site Pro will continue doing the, whatever you guys do there. Uh, seems like it's working. So we'll, we'll definitely stick around. Um, I don't have, have much details exactly to tell you what was improved. Uh, it's actually my team was working on that. I have a documentation we went through. And as you know, we, we, you guys have been very responsive. That uh, helps a lot uh, in situations, uh, specific situations we have. So as long as you guys uh, will provide this, uh, you know, support in terms of like fixing uh, uh, uh upgrading, making better, releasing new versions. Um, uh, I mean, look at our feedback, what you guys do. Uh, we're definitely looking to stick around. Uh, so, I mean, uh, again, I don't have particular, particular details what was improved, but I know based on, first based on our UI UX designer, and she's, uh, she, she's been in the industry for many years, designing sites, she definitely uh, I, I basically I had we had a board meeting where, where I was checking how, how they feel like um, and that was uh, basically all I heard was positive replies feedbacks uh, even from professional and from our like support representative who were just doing internal beta tasting of uh, the new version they were, were pretty satisfied the overall uh, conclusion was uh, definitely a better uh, better version uh, definitely we have we see improvements uh, and this is definitely what, what makes, uh, makes the conclusion that we will stay and uh, start offering that product to our client eventually. Um, we, haven't, we haven't released it yet to our client. Uh, I think the release will be, we got all the information for you um, on upgrading the version as we are hosting solution, hosted solution, self-hosted solution. It takes a little bit longer to do it. So hopefully maybe today or tomorrow we'll, we'll go live. And you guys offer this uh, cool capabilities for older users to switch back in case if they don't like the new version. I don't really see point why would they, but as you guys offer this capability, this is definitely a plus. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're pretty excited. Okay, thank you. I will have a few questions uh, to you. Maybe you'll be able to answer. Probably I'll share the screen. Uh, it will be easier for me to explain. Uh, can you share my? Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I do. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, I have a I have a question regarding the uh, right toolbar. Uh, as you remember, all the builder didn't have right toolbar, and all properties uh, should be changed uh, by clicking with the right mouse click on the element, clicking properties, and only then the customer could change uh, any kind of make any kind of changes. What do you think about this improvement about right toolbar? Uh, does it have the potential to become useful, to become popular among customers? Uh, what is your own opinion about this uh, changes inside the Pro? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I just noticed that my, my screen was uh, actually on the right side. So at first I, was, I wasn't sure what you're talking about. But yeah, I, I see what you mean here. Um, uh, I mean, um, to be honest, any changes we do, you guys do, and based on my personal uh, experience, uh, every time we release something new, there is uh, so many people uh, hitting that and so many people loving that. So I'm not sure. It's it really depends, uh, you know, how pushy you guys will be. If that will be only the option, uh, the stickability rate probably will be higher. If they will have an option to switch back, I'm sure a lot of people will switch back not because they didn't like it, just because they used to one thing. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you that people they are used to some old thing, not even old things. They are used to some things, and it's quite difficult to, for the person to switch to the new uh, new product and to try, even if the product is really better and there's no nothing to compare. Actually, comparing the old and new builder version, talking about the precise size of the website, about the quality of the website, about the speed of the website. Anyway, it will be difficult to force people. Yeah. Right, right, exactly, exactly. And what is your opinion about this tree? Uh, does it uh, does it complicated? Is it easier to, in understanding? Just uh, when we are creating the site builder, uh, and we know all the things related to to the changes, and it, it seems for us that it's quite easy to use it. It's quite understandable. What is your opinion from the end customer's point of view? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, from uh, from the feedback I got so far from our professional designer and just uh, um, regular customer support representative who had no idea how to do that, like first time first time user, they all said it, it's became more clear. So mm -hmm. um, I, I will say yes, definitely better. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and um, yeah, Italian. Uh, I have a question. Um, Yusuf gone. I don't know why. Um, I ha I have the question about the uh, this hierarchical tree. Um, do you understand the difference between uh, horizontal and vertical layout from the icons? I mean, um, I want to know if it's clear for for end customers to to understand the layout position it, 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 and understand the difference between them. Do you think it will be easier for, because uh, the words horizontal and vertical are like difficult words itself. So that's why I want to understand if it will, if it will be hard or easy to understand for end customers, simple customers. Uh, Vitalium, uh, if you can see my screen, uh, she she means uh, she talks about this horizontal loud and vertical loud. This uh, this uh, two things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um... uh, in previous time we named them column and row, and mm -hmm. uh, then we decided to rename it to horizontal and vertical layout. It means that they go one each in in the vertical sequence. It means a vertical layout, and in a horizontal sequence, it means uh, it's a horizontal layout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's it's a tough question. I have to actually use it uh, to know more details about like what about usability. Uh, I mean. I don't see a problem right now again, but mm -hmm. I guess once uh, you start building, uh, let, let me, let me, I guess, uh, make a note of that okay. and I'll get back to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for this information. Uh, Vitalia Yusuf is already here. We can pass the word to Yusuf about his, his opinion. And we have a lot of questions to our guests actually, but we would like to, to talk with both of you. Yeah. Yes, uh, you, Yusuf, you uh, you were the first uh, who tested uh, our um, new version, as you remember. Uh, and could you share your feedback? You, you said that your team was very happy about the, <laughs> the new builder. Yeah, could you share yeah. the feedback in details? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, thanks for throwing the floor for me. And, um, you know, um, I want to tell you a little history of how I got to know about Cypro. Uh, see now I was working with um, Garanto for uh, some three years ago, and we had it, all right? I don't know if they still have the site for right now. So that's how I got to know about site for. But right now, I have my own cloud hosting company, and we are trying to look for um, a product, okay, that we can offer to our customers, uh, more like free, all right? So when they buy some of our product, we just bundle it for them for free. And um, to be honest with you, myself, I didn't really work with uh, the previous builder so much because I didn't really fancy. I mean, I'm a web programmer, so I just felt like that's a total waste of time. <laughs> so, but I still believe, I mean, there's a lot of people, you know, that they feel that's probably going to be easy for them. But, you know, the challenge that we had, I mean, previously when we were trying to use the builder was 
in terms of flexibility, all right? Sometimes um, you can really do a lot of things from the template, all right, once you actually created it. And also we had um, some issues of, I mean, the build are not working at times. And so, but I mean, that's a side, I, I believe this new builder solved everything and uh, with the new look and the feel, I mean, I like the arrangement of the menu. I mean, that's probably uh, the new trend now with all CMS, right? They give you access to see um, a wide view of tools, all right, that you can make use of without having to go dig, I mean, to go dig down and start looking for what to choose from. So, I mean, that's what everybody wants. Everybody just wants to open something and just see it without having to go start looking for it. I mean, <laughs> you know, spending a lot of time. So, I mean, but for us, we feel that the, the new builder is actually a good way to go. I still believe there's a lot of work that the team can, you know, do. From now here, I'm glad that uh, the new builder supports um, uh, the e-commerce, all right, as a store. In the past, we, do, we did have um, people that wanted to um, set up stores on the website builder in a previous company, but uh, unfortunately, they were not able to do that. Uh, because it does not support it. I mean, so that's a, a very good uh, feature we can add to our advertisement. As you know, I mean, our team have been running ads in the last three weeks to, to see that we, we are able to onboard new customers. But still, yet, I mean, I believe what, what we can just do from, from my own perspective, we are really cool with the new features in the app, but we just feel like we need a lot more marketing. Uh, and this is something that we can really maybe try to leverage on your own platform, all right? Because um, there's already a lot of existing side builders out there, and I'm, I'm, I really like your side builder. To be honest, I mean it, it really stands out, and I believe you guys can really make an impact in the industry. Okay, but I believe uh, we should be able to leverage on your um, on your platform, all right, on your marketing, so so that we can also grow as well. Because from our own marketing survey, what we did so far, I mean, yeah, we didn't really see a lot of turnover from it because everybody. Uh, already knows how to design um, the stores or the website WordPress. I mean, the world has really been very easy, all right? So gonna do this WordPress was, was like, you're a great programmer and you're doing something great. But now everybody knows WordPress and, you know, and so the thing now is when we try to introduce this product to a lot of people, they'd be like, yeah, man, but I use WordPress so I'm, and that's easy for me. So we're trying to see how we can have a leverage on marketing, all right? So if you have a good leverage, okay, you are able you to. Uh, thank you, Yusuf. Maybe uh, Tanya will help you to uh, answer this question with the marketing. Yeah. Uh, uh, just a minute. Um, uh, I wanted to say, and uh, I just heard. This is an old one. I wanted to show a few templates, uh, a few websites actually that were already rebuilded with a new builder version. Uh, International Clients Day, uh, Batsoft.com. Uh, and you can see actually these websites, they look uh, really professionally and we can compete with websites that are created uh, uh, in, in design studios uh, and actually the quality of the website, uh, our main goal was uh, why we decided to rebuild the, the, the engine to, uh, to make the new engine for site builder was to satisfy your end customers and make uh, the final website, the, the result uh, that the, uh, the online presence more beautiful, more precise. Um, uh, uh, and right. actually, yeah, it looks good. So, yeah, looks actually, good. this was uh, our goal. Okay. Um, so I, I also, I noticed that um, I think you had about 205 templates. I believe there should be a lot more. Uh, because in some categories, you have just about five, some have just about six or seven. So, uh, there should be a lot more. So, I think your team, yeah, I know you guys are doing a lot. Yes, a lot we, have, yeah. we have updated yeah. the template number. There are yeah. more than 200. Uh, yeah. We have updated, and actually, I was starting to, uh, our conversation two, from this. I saw about 205 already. Yeah, uh, we have updated because during this unusual period of time, during, uh, during this um, uh, uh, difficult period uh, during this time, uh, many people, they, they are looking for, uh, for ability to create an online, business, an online presence, uh, online stores. And actually, we got a lot of requests from our end customers, from our hosting companies uh, who were uh, 
asking us to create uh, something specific for this uh, unusual period of time. And we already started to create uh, a new category, online businesses, as you can see my screen. Yeah. And this online business is this place is dedicated to create uh, exactly online uh, presentation for any of online business, like online yoga, like uh, sport, a gym, online gym, online museum with presentation, with uh, video. So all these templates are dedicated to this current period and to help people to to make online present, present uh, online stores during this period. And actually, we have a goal to increase the number of our templates talking about e-commerce because we get a lot of requests uh, during this period uh, about online stores so uh, we, will, we will make more and more templates for this current uh, period of time to satisfy, satisfy our customers needs um, I got a question from my customer from the partner from Russia about the video and uh, about the presentation video that could be uh, could be shown to your end customers, and I would like to ask Vitalia to tell a little bit about this video to share maybe the screen. Um, okay, let's share my screen. Um, I hope you see it. Um, so first of all, uh, we have created a uh, um, short video like a new builder's presentation uh, to let customers uh, and hosting providers understand what have, uh, what have been, has been uh, changed. I mean, some key points uh, on the website builder. And this video uh, will be fully white labeled and it will be uploaded to our marketing kit. So each customer can download it and um, upload their own video, uh, sorry, uh, their own logo and advertise it to their end customers to, to, to show it like, uh, like their video. So I will uh, play the video so you can see. Uh, yeah, our and uh, your end customers will see uh... Uh, you will see such a video. It's white label, and uh, you will be able to uh, to use it on your website to advertise um, the product. Our to your customers. Uh, designer will let you a pos uh, uh, will let uh, a possibility, technical possibility, to add the first slide and uh, um, and uh, to uh, add your last slide, so you can write your own. Uh, had a, uh, I mean, title, or uh, at the end, uh, say something like subscri subscribe on our YouTube channel and so on. So it will be prepared uh, with, uh, sorry, with, uh, with, with, so uh, with some files which can be edited on, on um, Adobe. Uh, Vitalia, um, I have uh, one more question to our guests, to both of you, to Artur and Yusuf, uh, about um, uh, about blocks. Uh, I'll, uh, okay. I'll try to share the screen. Can you stop um, sharing yours? Yes. Just a minute. Uh, I have one more question uh, about uh, blocks uh, that we, uh, just a minute, uh, that we provide an inside builder. Um, I'm talking about that uh, pre-designed blocks um, The, that we provide to end customers uh, that helps to create the, uh, the website uh, not from scratch but from using those blocks uh, about uh, I'm talking about these blocks uh, do you think uh, you should you would like to have them more 
uh, would you like to see bigger amount of blocks uh, here? Do you think they can be useful to you and customers creating the websites? Um, what is your guys' opinion about these blocks? So, so I mean, that block is really for, for content, right? That's if you want to yeah. put yeah. some stars on it. So right now you're asking if um, we should, you want to add to it or what? Uh, my question is, uh, do you think is it enough uh, enough to have this amount uh, uh, of blocks or do you think uh, uh, we should uh, make this list bigger and we should provide the wider choice for blocks? Well, I really don't understand your question to be honest, but mm -hmm. it looks good at well, the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think what they meant to say is uh, like if you if you choose the blocks, yeah. you have like only like at this current screen you have only like what three options or oh no more options more right? more, more options yeah, we have but yeah oh, um, oh oh gotcha okay let me uh -huh. let me let me run through that can you just pop up the list for me no you can talk I mean, can you just pop up that that uh, list for me let me check that yeah so you have about us contactors. Media products, Twitter, uh, just uh, some builders, they, they don't provide blocks at all. Uh, some builders, they provide a huge amount of blocks. So what, do, what is your opinion yeah. about the amount of yeah, 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 I think this should be, this should be, this should be, in, this should be worked on. I mean, because um, there should be a lot more um, items to this. But I have a question. Uh, this item is specific to uh, this template, right? Mm, no, for all templates. For all templates. Um, yeah, there should be a lot more because um, there should be, uh, let's say, things like. Um, uh, uh, so, when the studio, you are waiting for a mass bigger uh, number. Thinking about it, but there should be a lot more to me. Mm -hmm. like, um, and, Arthur, what is your opinion? Um, well, I guess. Again, it's user experience here. We're talking about if you put more, it's um, it's just hard to navigate. There will be too many choices. I mean, for, for us, of course, the more is better. But if there'll be some categories, uh, well, you kind of have the categories. But perhaps when you do work the next version of the site, you'll have option to be make it more uh, targeted to specific site. Like, let's say if I choose a cooking site, I probably won't need maybe half of that, right? So maybe mm -hmm. you can have the ones, the probability yeah. of using one of the blocks on top and the ones you don't need, you can move on the bottom or like option C more. Uh, and ability to customize those blocks. I don't know if you have it or not. Uh, actually, you can do everything. We're creating your custom blog, that's what I meant. Uh, actually, as hosting company, you, of course, have ability to create your custom blogs and to enlarge this number, and you can customize as hosting uh, company these blogs and provide other blogs to your end customers. Uh, the product has many customization options, and this is mm -hmm. one of uh, the customization possibilities, so you can enlarge the number, you can customize, and customer, uh, he can't do it, uh, and customer can only uh, apply the block, uh, insert the block, and make changes in inserted block, but he can't manage this list. He can't make uh, changes in in these li uh, blocks list, uh, mm -hmm. only yeah, sure, sure. Uh, only after he added uh, card the card block. He has to add it to the template before he's able to edit it. Yeah, yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, my last question would be about uh, responsive websites. Um, as you know, before uh, the end customer needed to create at least four builder versions or, or to work or to manage uh, to create an online. Or, I'm sorry, to create responsive website, he needed to create mm -hmm. four builder ver four versions in builder or used out aloud. Uh, at this current model, there is no any possibility to to change. Uh, there is no any possibility to select by desktop mode, mobile mode. Do you think it, is, it, it became more convenient for end customers when he works only with one version and doesn't need to think about all other versions? Uh, is the new builder new version, version became more convenient than usage? More, 
it's, it's more responsive because I think that was the first thing I complained about when they started using the product. In the older builder, uh, we noticed it was it was not responsive on mobile. All right, and um, Vitaly uh, said you was actually working on the new build. And uh, yeah, gloriously when the new build came, uh, it seems to be responsive. And there's this um, this um, button that has um, all the versions of uh, of the different platform, both the mobile, the desktop, and the uh, uh, and the tablet. All right, that's this this side. All right, all this I'm seeing here. So yeah, I mean that makes it to be a lot uh, responsive, right? And we tested really with the template, and it looks really good on mobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Vitalia, do you have any questions? Uh, would you like to ask something else, our guest? Uh, regarding the blocks? No, no, no. Just uh, regarding the. Um, um, maybe I missed uh, about uh, mm, talking uh, about the th the topic about the templates. I just uh, want to get back to the templates uh, that Jana represented and to request you. Um, uh, are you receiving some specific request about the particular template category or theme? Uh, what category sh should be added? Uh, should be added uh, and are popular in your specific country or for yours for your customers? For me, right now, we're not receiving any custom um, custom uh, request for theme. I mean, we're still trying to get the customers to sign up for the product. And so I think when we grow up and a lot of people are aware of this product, I believe, I mean, they might probably be a request as well uh, for templates, uh, just on templates. Yeah, for us, it's, it's too early to judge as well. Uh, so let's get, get, gain some traction, see what will be feedback. Uh, at this point, we really do a lot of, we will be doing a lot of migrations from uh, one builder to another probably a lot of from GoDaddy. <laughs> uh, so if you guys can improve on uh, import tool, that'll be, that'll be huge for us. Yeah, we already talked with Artur about uh, the improvement in import tool. Actually, you should know that we are working, at the moment, we are working on improvement uh, of import uh, tool, universal import. We did a lot of updates uh, during the last two weeks. Uh, we worked a lot of import and we will need to try uh, to try the import from the size uh, of those sites that you would like to import. Maybe we can make tests, but we'll talk about this with you after this conversation. Awesome. Actually, Thank you. Uh, actually uh, our goal was to get uh, first feedback. Uh, we, uh, we just launched the new builder version for all of our customers this week. Uh, some of them uh, already uh, already had the builder version last month from the last month and now everybody can i would like to mention that everybody can turn on the new builder version and we're waiting actually for other feedbacks we will organize the same webinar uh, next week uh, the second part we will ask our uh, our customers to share their feedback or uh, to you we would like to hear the overview about the new builder version comparing the, with an old one because now we, the, we are in the stage when we improve the product a lot and as more we hear uh, as more we know as, from you as more we can uh, help you uh, with, to improve the product according to your needs. Uh, this is the goal of this meeting, of this conversation, and we will have the same uh, meeting next week at the same time. We will, uh, we will ask to participate more guests. Uh, uh, you will have uh, those who are listening, this, uh, watching this webinar, you will be able to test during this one week, to, you will be able to get the feedback from your customers, and we will wait your uh, the information from you next week. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you everybody who, who participated today during this conversation. Uh, we, me and Vitalia, we were really happy to, to see you, to hear your opinion, the opinion of real customers who already launched the builder, who already tested the builder. 
And all the things that you mentioned that we should improve, we noted and we'll discuss with our development team. Uh, everything what you said and good uh, about the product was pleasant to hear, of course. And we, we are going to improve and we are working uh, on better quality of final website and uh, more convenient usage of the builder. So uh, thank you everybody for joining and see you next week. Hey, awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Have a nice day. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.